Morning everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Jan Kjellstra and I'm a dairy farmer from Saskatchewan, Canada. Our family farm milks about 320 Holsteins out here. And this morning we woke up to a bit of a blizzard. So that's what I'm dealing with this morning to start out. Uh, milk truck just showed up too actually. So he didn't have a problem getting out here luckily. But the roads are not great. There's a bit of wind, snow's blowing. And we've probably got over 10 centimeters of snow already. And it's supposed to continue snowing throughout the entire day. So I'm just starting out by opening the doors before the feed wagon comes through. And I'm gonna hand shovel all the snow away. You're gonna baby these doors, make sure that no ice builds up. One of the best things to do when it does snow is open them up manually, get out here with a shovel and hand bomb the snow away from the doors. We're just behind the barns right now, which is the south side of the barns. The wind is always coming from the north, comes over top of the barns and just drops a bunch of snow here. And it looks like this happened today. Uh, we've probably got about a foot of snow right behind here. And then those doors are not looking too bad. We got the heater plates in the concrete, which keeps the snow melted on the outside a little bit. So that always helps, but we still got to clear it out. Got the handy dandy door clicker, door remotes, whatever you want to call that thing. Next thing we're gonna be doing this morning is putting close-ups into the straw pack barn, which means we gotta go outside and take those ladies out of the curls. We do got a lot of snow today, we gotta to deal with that, but we always gotta do our regular Monday chores and that day's chores on top of dealing with all the snow. So, got light outs, now we're gonna go do that. Out in the curls to get those close-up ladies and uh, there's a good amount of snow out here too. Not enough that we got to shovel out the feed bunks, which is awesome. I think the wind kind of swooped it out. But uh, they're definitely going to need some bedding because I can't even see their straw pack anymore. We just got into this corral to find some heifers that are bagging up. And you can see not even a single animal up until now, of course, has been up to the feed bunk. They all just huddle together along the wind breaks. Stay warm like a bunch of penguins. Come on, lady. Those are the close-up ladies. They're gonna melt all the snow and ice off their back, dry off, and we'll process them later on today. We got a bunch of cows in the barn that we gotta vaccinate first. It's kind of a more pressing job, so we're gonna get that done. So we got our vaccine and the list. The list is in numerical order. We got 41 cows to vaccinate this morning. The two vaccines are just for a respiratory disease and the other one is for mastitis. So this should prevent these cows from getting any of those two. We just finished up vaccinating the cows. We had a couple two AI as well, finished that. Now we're taking cows out of the barn and putting them in a dry group for the cows that we're gonna dry off this week. That right there is one of them. We will then take them out of this barn move them over into our pack barn which is right beside us and they'll be there for a couple days dad's looking for the cows in the headlockers miriam's in the barn as well walking through picking a couple out i think 14 17 is on the pack This is our group of dry cows. They come out of the freestyle barn. They're always really excited to get on that straw pack. Fighting. It's now the afternoon. We hop back in the case loader and I'm probably not gonna be leaving this seat for the next couple hours. Uh, I'm gonna start plowing the yard properly clean. I started with our drive-through between the corrals. The reason I started here is because they're gonna be blasting bedding in and they need to use this alley a bunch. I did clear it a little bit this morning for the feed wagon, but it blew full of snow again quite a bit. So got that cleared now. Naleen, shout out to her. She's gonna be putting bedding in with dad. Otherwise, I'd be out there standing by the gates in this terrible weather. 
and instead she volunteered to do it so that's uh, pretty awesome and I get to stand here and push snow so it's kind of what the rest of my day is going to look like I think no complaints Gonna head to town now. Uh, gonna plow my driveway, and I'll probably see if my sister needs her driveway plowed as well. That definitely beats uh, shoveling my driveway. Got her nice and clean. Hopefully it's still clean by the time I get home. Well, I'm all done pushing snow for the day and that means I gotta park it in the shop. So I gotta clean all the snow off. I'm gonna scoop the bucket out. When we park that case loader, the bucket, it slowly seeps forward. And if we do that with a bucket full of snow, it's just gonna dump a bunch of water in the shop over there. And then the water goes to the bottom of the overhead door and it'll freeze it to the ground, which can cause a lot of problems. So. It's just kind of inconvenient to take all the snow off of that thing, but you got to do it. So we're going to scoop the bucket out and then we're going to try and get as much off of the rest of the machine with our hands and see how clean we can get that thing. It's now the next day and I milked the cows this morning, pushed a bit of snow yet this afternoon and we're going to milk cows now again this afternoon. But uh, we got most of the yard completely cleared of snow and it is looking pretty awesome. It's always the nicest part after getting a big fat snowfall like we did there. Uh, getting the yard cleared off, getting everything neat and tidy again is always awesome. But yeah, we're gonna milk cows this afternoon. The parlor just finished its sanitizing cycle. So before every single milking, it automatically runs a sanitize cycle. And that just uh, runs a quick rinse through all the milk claws and all the milk lines right before we start milking. But now that that's done, we can take those milkers off the wash trays. Put those ladies in the holding area. We scrape the alleys, rake the beds, hit them with the bed buster.
we're all done the afternoon milking shift now. I have one more thing that I had to get done this evening and that is with this lady right here. Bit of an interesting story with her. We bred her, I believe about 150 to 200 days ago now. I just saw it on the computer, I'm not totally sure. But um, you know, five, six, seven months ago and we never got her a positive or negative result on the herd health. So maybe our report on the computer didn't add her for some reason and she wasn't on the list on the day of herd health for the vet to come and preg check her. Um, or maybe she was crazy on the day the vet was here and she's just running laps around the barn. Sometimes then we'll just say, you know what, we'll leave it. It's not worth getting the cows all crazy to see this one cow's pregnancy or not. Uh, so for some reason, yeah, no, she's bred that long ago and she's not positive or negative. And she got a little bit of a spike on her activity today. So that's why she popped up on our report. We kind of saw it looked weird. So we're just here to see if she's actually in heat. I palpated her. She did not look in heat. She doesn't look ridden on in the back here at all either. If a cow's in heat, the other cows are of course always gonna jump on her back right there. And you can always tell. So I wanted to see if there was a calf inside her or not. And a pretty cool trick that dad showed me, I don't know, at least 10 years ago now. Basically you come down on the right side of the cow, all the way on the bottom of the stomach in this area here. And you kind of push in a little bit. And if you feel something solid, that's obviously a calf. Uh, just the way the cow's body is underneath here, there's no nothing solid. There's no bones or nothing, unless of course there's a calf in there. So we're gonna do it now. Yeah, so I feel something. So I definitely felt something solid in there. You just kind of push into it and it comes back and hits your fist and then you know, okay, that's a solid object. That's gotta be a calf in there. So pretty interesting, works good, I guess. So she's just gonna go back into her group. I will enter her in the computer as pregnant now. That is gonna be it for today's video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram, at SaskDutchKid. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. What are you doing, girl?